Hurricane season, of course, as it does slowly ramp up and hopefully very slowly ramp up. Uh, but overall, at least in the forecast for these next couple of days, the tropics are going to stay quiet and our weather stays quiet as well. A ton of sunshine in the Hartford area now. It's a beautiful morning, but it is a little on the cool side. Temperatures are in the 40s in some locations. You have mid 40s like Torrington coming in at 46, Chester at 46, Norwich has been the cool spot all morning at 45, even got down to 44 for a period of time. So a little chilly out there for some people this morning. So maybe a light jacket or something like that. But as we go on through the rest of the day, we'll start to warm those temperatures back up, getting into the 70 degree range for many inland towns, some 60s along the shoreline, but still a beautiful day. Right now on the satellite and radar, there's just nothing to see, so not much to show you other than a couple of passing clouds. Beautiful weather on tap for the day today. Get outside and enjoy it, even if it's just walking into work or something like that. If you can just kind of appreciate that it's a nice day, uh, hopefully that'll brighten you up a little bit, brighten your day. So as we go on through the day today, we'll see that sunshine with those temperatures getting into the 70s. Pleasant stuff, low humidity as well. Well, that's another thing. Dew points are in the 30s, which means that we have very dry air in place. But the brush fire risk is fairly low, and that's because the winds are so light out there. There's little to no wind. So any brush fires that do form could still spread, but not as quickly as they would be if uh, we had a stronger wind. And as we're going through the day, that sun came up this morning at 522, going down this evening at 814. And partly cloudy skies will be out there for the night tonight. Nice starlit sky with temperatures around 50. Tomorrow, we keep things quiet. Another nice day. And then for Friday, Day. That's when the humidity starts to crank up a little bit and we do have the chance for some afternoon storms. I think most of those storms will stay off to our west on Friday, but with temperatures a little warmer with that humidity in place, we could have a couple of those storms in the afternoon and into the evening as a front makes its way through. We'll watch that closely. And what's this dotted line here? What are we talking here? Is this a mistake? No, this is just representing a trough. It's a little weak disturbance that's going to make its way through and that could help to fire off a couple of showers and play a role in our weather for Saturday. So Saturday could be a little on the showery side something we'll watch for is that trough, the dotted line, makes its way through. Then by uh, Sunday and Monday, we'll start to crank those numbers up, getting into the 80s, possibly even near 90 as we head into the middle of next week. So a little bit of warm weather around the area as, of course, Memorial Day is known as the unofficial start of summer. And we have the temperatures to show it here. With those temperatures getting up into the 80 degree range, maybe some low to mid 80s for Memorial Day, Tuesday up around 90. So the heat and humidity kind of returns for next week. But until then, some very nice weather out there for today and tomorrow. As I said, a couple of showers for Friday and Saturday. More updates on the forecast all throughout the morning. That's the latest for now, guys. Back to you.